Hello viewers, welcome to Celebrity Drama. If you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to stay updated with all latest information about American celebrities. Rumors about Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's marriage problems haven't gone away, as things look very bleak for the couple. In May, Affleck's ex-girlfriend, Jennifer Garner, was seen visiting him at his home amid reports that he had left the mansion they shared with Lopez. A source told the Daily Mail, Jen doesn't want Ben to stop this marriage because she really cares about J-Lo. I went to his house to talk to him about it and try to keep the two together. But Garner's involvement in her ex-husband's problems wasn't easy for her boyfriend, John Miller. As reported by the Daily Mail, the Cali Group CEO is fed up with the Thalia star being Affleck's therapist. Of course, it bothers John that Jen is overly focused on her ex-husband. A source said, he cares deeply about Ben and sympathizes with what he's going through with Jennifer, but that doesn't mean Jen has to be the one to fix her ex-husband's issues with his current wife, John wants nothing more than for Ben to be okay, but it's not his girlfriend's responsibility to play babysitter for him," the insider added. It seems as if Garner had listened to Miller, and despite her desire to help her ex-husband, she made the decision to remove herself from the situation. Ben Affleck's breakup with Jennifer Lopez greatly affected not only him, but Jennifer Garner as well. But after acting as his mentor, the Yes Day actor finally said no to Affleck. Jen eventually got to a position where she said, Sorry, figure this out for yourself, a source told the Daily Mail, adding, she cares about J-Lo and cares about their kids and how this is going to affect all of them. But in the end, this isn't Jen's circus, and it's not Jane Monkeys, and she's done playing marriage counselor for her ex-husband and his wife. Amber Kelleher Andrews, co-CEO of matchmaking service Kelleher International, told Nikki Swift that having such a close relationship with an ex can cause problems with the current partner. Factors such as communication style, emotional maturity, co-parenting dynamics, maintaining respect for privacy, and individual needs should be taken into consideration. Maintaining boundaries and being aware of where your loyalties lie prevents conflicts as well, she said. Kelleher Andrews also believes that triangulation, which is relying on a third person to mediate issues, is a major factor in disrupting a relationship, so Garner's retreat from Affleck was a good decision. Recognizing the many risks of triangulation as they arise and addressing them now is key to maintaining respect between the three people involved. As well as providing healthy and safe relationships for children, she said. It only took a year for Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez to have a spontaneous wedding in Las Vegas after getting back together in 2021, but you won't see Jennifer Garner jumping head-to-head -head with John Miller. Despite the drama, it seems as though Garner and Miller are still going strong, but unlike Affleck, the mother of three isn't ready to tie the knot anytime soon. I don't know. I'm far from it. And I don't know that marriage should be apart. I mean I definitely don't think I'll be single forever. But this isn't the time, I don't need to make it complicated, I'm good," she told People magazine in 2021. According to OK, Garner turned down an offer from Miller because she wanted to put her children with Affleck first. The good news is that Affleck approves of the relationship but does not interfere in his ex-wife's affairs. Jennifer is staying away from her relationship with Lopez and not getting involved in the situation with John. This is not something either of them are getting involved in, a source shared.